Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm up in Moorhead, Minnesota tonight for the uh, Clay Wilkin uh, Corn and Soybean Growers Association annual meeting. And I got talking tractors here with Larry Jacobson of Hitterdahl, Minnesota. And Larry, good to meet you. And uh, always nice to meet someone from Hitterdahl. <laughs> Population, you said about 250? No, but two, 215. Two, oh, I overshot. 215, got it. Okay. Well, so you basically, now Larry, you have about half as many tractors in your possession as the population of Hitterdahl. <laughs> You're saying you have 113 tractors? My son and I. Okay. Well, actually my two sons. There's three of them that belong to my one son that lives in Chicago. Okay. What are your son's names? Uh, Eric is my oldest, okay. and my youngest is Ronald. Okay. And I understand a uh, particular loyalty to what brand of tractor now? J.I. Case. J.I. Case. And now on your business card you gave me, Larry, there's a little picture of a tractor. Why don't you tell, tell us about that and its special meaning to you? That is a 51 DC case. Yeah. My dad purchased it new in 1952. I actually sat in the seat of that tractor in the showroom at the Cal Farm Store in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And the following fall he bought that tractor. 1952. 1952. And you still have that? I still have that tractor. We still, use, we still use it a little bit around the farm. Not a lot. It's retired now and it's kind of my pet. So, nice. I, uh, That's one of the 113. That's one of the 113. Okay. And in, in addition to all of those tractors, I also have 28 case plows. Only 28? What's the problem? Only <laughs> well, that's what I found. That's great. That's awesome. How long have you been collecting plows? Oh, I've been collecting blouse for, I'd say, close to 30 years. Okay. And wow. I have everything in the Centennial series from a one bottom through a five bottom. Really? What's, what's the most unusual plow that you have? Uh, the most unusual plows, most of the plows are fairly common. The most unusual one, I would say, is I have the, some of the, a couple of the, well, one of the three bottoms belongs to each of my sons. Okay. Uh, they have a three bottom and a two bottom eagle hitch plows where they, okay. it had a spear and you lost the plow okay. and then you had to back up and spear the plow and you wanted oh, to right. uh, right. hook up to them. Okay. I have a two bottom for a VAC and my sons have ones that fit on the SC and DC. Okay. Now back to tractors here Larry, you, uh, you also have, uh, you were telling me, a, a four, uh, kind of a rare four wheel drive tractor. Yes, we have a 4994. Uh, they were they were only built in 1984, and they only built uh, 221 of them. The last uh, five or six of them I, I know, were built in, in Fargo. The rest were built in Racine, hmm. and the last five six tractors actually had Cummins engines in them. Really? And yours? Does yours have a Cummins? Ours has no. Ours has the Scandia V8. Okay. And that so that was right when uh, International and Case were doing their little merger thing and they just made them one year huh? they just made them one year and, and there was a few of them that were sold later and okay. they were actually painted red ours is painted white really? ours is black and white well you're gonna have to send me some pictures of these characters i can't wait to see it and also you you told me you have a unimog i have a unimog my son my, it belongs to my son okay now where did you get that we got that from the case plant in fargo they used okay. they used to sweep the test track they use what? They use it to sweep the test track. Sweep the test track? Yeah, it's got a broom. There's a broom for it. Okay. It's been a little while since I've seen the Unimog. Uh, uh, okay, now here's your assignment, Larry. You go home and you got to give me these pictures, right? <laughs> and that 1951 DC that your dad, Carol, bought brand new, right? Yep. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Great to meet you, Larry, uh, from Hinderdahl, Minnesota, 113 tractors. Now, are we, is the number going up? Are you still collecting? Yeah, we're still collecting. Yeah. Is, is there any cap on this number? Or are we gonna... No, we thought we were slowing down, but it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> still going strong. <laughs> awesome. Well, again, thanks, Larry. Uh, great to meet you. Mm -hmm.